Hey there everyone, Jason DePaola here from the Edge Strength and Conditioning and you're probably wondering why I've got my skis here for this video because I want to tell you how to discover three new ways to exercise for skiing. But before I do that, if you're on YouTube, um, please hit the subscribe button that should come pop down in the corner um, corner here. Um, if you could please subscribe to my channel, it'd be most appreciated. Also, I'm going to put a link to my Instagram account. Um, if you can go onto that, and, and I put a lot more content on my Instagram that I don't put on my YouTube channel. So if you could go onto that link, follow me on Instagram, again, be most appreciated. So yeah, so well, I've got my ski. So it's, it's ski season, and I want to tell you about three new ways to to exercise for skiing. Um, most, most importantly is for the core. I want you to hit the, the, the slopes with a, a hard core. So what do I mean by that? So most people think about the core is, um, like, like they tell me, are crunches a good exercise for the core? And how important the core is uh, for skiing and snowboarding? But uh, before we discuss um, the, the exercises for the core, we must dive in and sort of discuss how what the core is all about and what is the core, okay? So the core is just not made up of your abs alone. Your core runs from your the top of your neck down to your hips and back up again, okay? It's most important to realize that your core is like three-dimensional, okay? And they all work together in tandem when you're skiing or anything like that, running, jumping, anything like that. It all works together okay so therefore an effective core program should challenge all three dimensions okay your core is like the center of your body um, it attaches like your upper and lower body and for skiing this is really good for upper and lower body separation okay so when you're skiing you might find that you have to side slip down a slope so you're, you're your torso is facing down the slope and your skis and your and your hips and pelvis is, is following the, uh, um, the line of the slope as well so you have that upper and lower body separation so you need a strong core to to strengthen the core for stabilization uh, and for core endurance as well to help like you to successfully manage the slopes of very very um, terrain and and conditions because conditions can easily change throughout a day okay so let's start with the first um, exercise to, to help with the core and I normally go to side planks or this one now this is a really good one to structure the, the the main parts of your inner obliques and outer obliques as well now most people know what the side plank is but I'm just going to quickly explain it. It's literally you're going to go down onto your side onto your elbow with your el elbow just underneath your shoulder and you're going to have a, your whole body all aligned and what I want you to do is if you can is lift your hips up so your body is nicely aligned underneath your elbow and and your shoulder okay and then what you can do is do some hip dips up and down so this will strengthen the cycle now this is the best exercise to do and also you can hold this exercise for about five to ten seconds after you do like five reps of up and down this is going to be good for stabilization and core strength now um, this what this exercise is is really good for like skiing for like that upper and body lower body separation and most people forget to do the side plank and the planks for this Okay, so the next exercise that I know I normally go on to, I'm stuttering now, but I normally go on to is like unilateral leg um, exercises, like the single leg RDL. Now this is a really a good one again for um, stability, um, balance uh, uh, for your legs as well. Also, when you're skiing, you're going you're going to tend to sort of use one of your single legs independently. Okay, you, you yes, you do ski down with two legs, but sometimes when you come to a hockey stop or you doing a turn, you one one leg is going to be used a lot more than the other. One leg is going to be a stabilizer, and what and the turning leg is going to be doing most of the work. So you've got to think about doing unilateral single leg exercises and then isolation exercises after that, like um, leg extensions. But the, R, the the single leg RDL is a really good one. So what you do is you just get a dumbbell in one hand, you do uh, stand on one leg and literally you lower your body, um, keeping with your hips and try and go down as low as you possibly can and then back up again. So um, this is just a basic um, overview of an, a single leg RDL. Now you can do it ipsilateral or contralateral which means you have the dumbbell in, in either end. This is also going to walk you, work your core as well and like I say this is good for stabilization and brilliant for balance as well. 
Now, another one I tend to say is what most people forget to do, and most PTs forget, is deceleration. Okay, this is a an, really an overlooked piece of um, exercises that most people don't do. So. Um, it, it's a neglected piece of ex, um, training that should, people should be doing. So um, I, I want you to think about absorbing force and like putting on the brakes. That is the deceleration. Um, and as we're skiing, we need to sort of um, have a dynamic movement to have a constant state of we have a constant state of pursuing force, okay? And this component of deceleration is what keeps us under control when we're on the slopes, okay? So like I say, the terrain might change, conditions might change, you might have, find that you're in a mogul field if you're if you, if you're not used to mogul fields. So you need that deceleration, okay? Um, our ability, if our deceleration is really poor, then we're not gonna be able to ski properly on slopes. We're just gonna splat and just not be able to ski properly. And if we if we can't decelerate, especially to a hockey stop or anything like that, you're just gonna go off the mountain, and I've seen this before, and you just go off and hit the barriers or trees, which is not a good thing, because it can hurt, well it does hurt. I've seen people with broken legs and other things that, are, but because they haven't got stronger, they can't decelerate, okay? Well, when we decelerate, properly we we be able to absorb the, the the kinetic force as we're skiing as well and that translate into um if we can decelerate we it translate to a smoother skiing performance as well um so there are a couple of ways of put um exercising for deceleration one of them is eccentric training so in the weight room okay so if you go into the weight room in eccentric training which I've, I've said about in many of my videos is it's the lower portion of like I say a squat so the slower you go onto that squat with 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 a load on your back or in your hands so a four four second down will help you strengthen up those muscles also strengthen up your core because you're going down lower and uh, under control okay so that's one way the eccentric training with the weights another way of deceleration is with um uh, lower body sort of jumps now i tell people to so do stuff like a vertical jumps uh single and double and then stick the landing as you jump up so you you, you land softly and then absorb the the landing okay so you go down and absorb the landing and do that deceleration you can do this without any weights or you could do it with some weights the more weights the more you're going to be able to decelerate that um uh, have absorb that deceleration okay so another one is broad jumps or long jumps so you sort of like stand in and you jump as far forward as you can and then as you hit the ground you decelerate you use your ankles knees and hips decelerate you decelerate say that again decelerate and then you use your core then to stabilize okay another one is um box step offs step offs so you'll go to a reasonably high box not too high and then literally you just one foot off and you step off and then as you land with both feet you absorb that landing that's another good one as well and and another good one is what i do is lateral jumps for single legs so you from, from one side you laterally jump from one leg to the next over and over and over and this is again this is good for unilateral um, uh, uh, leg work and strengthening also good for balance and also as you're landing your deceleration and then you're controlling your body and your core is controlling yourself as well okay um, there's many others like th there's the drop squat as well so th there's there's lots of other things for deceleration but like I say most people most trainers um, and forget about that component of skiing and that's really good for uh, really important for skiing because if you can't decelerate you're just off the mountain and then you could definitely hurt yourself so there you go so there's um, three different ways um, I, I think I, I talk to my clients about for skiing um, think about this because if you can bring this all together and get a strong core um, like I say you need that uh, core strength that core stabilization that core endurance as well it will make your skiing holiday uh, and your ski vacation much more better um, you know you're less likely to have injuries you're less likely to have stacks or wipeouts and if you do if, if you've got a strong core you more likely you're going to be able to pick yourself up and keep on skiing if you don't um, you're just going to have more and more difficult time trying to to coordinate yourself with skiing 
Okay, so there we go there. So uh, I will just leave it there. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and share. Uh, and like I say, please get me on Instagram. Um, I've got a lot more content there on skiing. I have a ski um, strengthening ebook that you can buy as well. This is, this, again, this is really good for skiing. Um, it's just go over to my um, website as well. You can pick it up on that. So there we go. I'm Jason Tapali. Uh, I shall stop now because I'm going on and on. Uh, and I hope you like this video and I shall see you on another video coming real soon.